Welcome back to you, Blueberry Pies. I want to show you some corruption. We're going to go through some juicy news as well. I've got something just to go through. we got to go through some mindset stuff too, friends. Look at this. The corrupt SEC should be going after these filthy trash lawyers subhuman scum because the FTX bill from these lawyers and accountant scum, the FTX bill is $1.45 billion in one year already okay now you know what the customer shortfall is 1.42 billion what a freaking joke how is this even legal how this is the most disgusting thing ever these are the types of people that the corrupt SEC lets walk around and just destroy unfortunate investors there are a lot of people who got crushed by this FTX Ponzi and look what they're allowed to do instead they go after someone who's trying to add value you see, they're just, they're trash. They're coming after crypto. They're absolutely scum. I can't believe they let anybody do this. Anybody who defends the corrupt SEC, you're a cuck. You know, it's okay to be a cuck. Everyone gets to bang your wife, right? But just letting you know, okay? You wonder why her mouth smells? You know why? She's been sucking on willies all day. This is, this is what you support, okay? If you support the corrupt SEC, this is what you support. They literally give these guys a tick. People support the crap they see. That's what, that's what they're all about, okay? So no ifs, no buts. Now you get to see why everybody who is with the SEC on anyone, any issue, there's the wrong side, okay? You better check yourself, sir. Now, I want to remind you too. So look, this, these stories happen, friends. We're in the then they fight you phase. Just got to remind you of something. In, in the last bear market, a lot of people who were still on Twitter, were Ethereum maxis. Why? It's because their bags only dropped minus 80% from the top and uh, weren't down as bad as everybody else, which is down 90, 95, 99%. All right. So the Ethereum maxis, they got to basically enjoy the lowered volatility with a lot of the Bitcoin maxis. But on Twitter, we see a lot of the Ethereum maxis come out and it's okay, friends, Not nothing wrong, but just letting you know, we're talking about like how high the next bull market will go. So what they will say is they go, well, this bear market was nothing last like the last one, nothing. Okay. And I'll be honest, technically it's true because what are they saying? They're seeing everybody still here. They're saying, well, in the last bear market, and yeah, friends, the, the last bear market was literally a crypto nuclear winter. Like it was nuclear Holocaust. I'm not even kidding. It was a freaking it was freaking game over. I mean, this is Ethereum, right? It, 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 yeah, it, it's finished, buddy. Like, you're done. You are just freaking done. 94%. It was a 94% drop, okay? But <clears throat> so what they say is they go, well, since you guys are still here, it's not that bad. But that's not a good mentality, friends. If you see a lot of people still here, it means a lot of weekends, okay? Now, I don't want to call them necessarily weak because what do you mean? They're still here. It means you're strong. No, you, your gravity on the way up. Your gravity on the way up. What you, like, in a perfect world, everybody exits to the very, very, very few, not just like strong hands, friends, like absolute psychopaths, plus Roca Negra, who buys everything, okay? Because they they not only know the future, they control the future, okay? So they are super, super, super strong hand. They're the strongest hand of all. They know the future, okay? So that would be the best scenario. Not going to happen now, okay? Everybody gets out. Obviously, it's rock bottom prices. Maybe Bitcoin's 5K. And then everybody realizes their errors on the way up. But that was pre-bear market stuff. That's not, we're not get that, getting that anymore because crypto is becoming slowly more mature. The diminishing gains are coming. So just to let you know, friends, you, so you want to know, okay, if we get another diminishing return like we have in every single cycle, is there something that you could see that was a warning sign? Yes, your friend Somi here has told you exactly why. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, all. Share with your friends and family. It's a family friendly show. That's why all this gravity, it's important to be to be aware, aware of it, okay? Because this is not a call for another 100x, you know, and Bitcoin going to break the parabola and all these moves. You can see why. There's actually this, this maths and stats and people and how markets work, okay? So... When people talk about how bad that crypto bear market is, why my post is controversial is because, see, these people, 
They think markets only rinse you out with price. Wrong. If it was only price, we'd all be billionaires, okay? Markets don't rinse you just out with price, okay? They rinse you out with time. Now, your first reaction to this might be, well, we're out of the bear market now. Bitcoin is up to touch 40, 44K. Ethereum's up 2,000. Things are getting better for the next year. That's where you've got to think bigger, my friend. We're in the then they fight you phase, okay? I can rinse all you Ethereum and Bitcoin maxis out with one gambit card move if I was a bug eater, overlord. And you all know that move. I've spoken about it many times. It's to stop Bitcoin at 80K in the next cycle and round trip back to 30K in the next bear market. That would also round trip Ethereum. So Ethereum, I guess, would go to 8,000 and it would round trip back down to like 2K. Okay, now, why is that devastating? That's because, remember time capitulation, friends? That would be a five and a half year sideways, okay? Now, obviously, we feel like Ethereum wouldn't feel as hurt because they're like a bit more new, but you can tell it would crush Bitcoin. It could crush people saying, no, the last bear market was way worse. No, 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 no. That's why my post used to tell you, you don't know how bad this bear market is because you don't know the returns you're going to get. Okay. You don't measure the bear market. So, okay, you can't. Noobs, newbies and soy boys with hunchbacks, they will measure a bear market by no one's here. The prices went down. No, that's one dimensional, friends. That's one dimensional view. We want four dimensions. Okay. You add time. Okay. Which means. Return on investment, friends. You know, return over time. How much did you get from this certain period of time? Yeah. If it ends up sucking the most, what's everyone going to say? They're going to go, you know what, man? This has been the worst bear market of all. Why? Because in 2018, if you sat through the pain for a year, you had a 50x waiting for you from the low to the top of Ethereum and a 20x waiting for you from the low to the top of Bitcoin. But... If Bitcoin stops at 80K, well, you go from like 16K to 80K. What is that? Like you get like a 5X and then you round trip it. And by the way, no one sells that top. Okay. So no, it's not like everybody gets a 5X. No, no, no. Like 5% of people are selling around there. They're not selling all their bags either. Okay. That's why this thing is controversial. Okay. So you don't know how bad this is until the next crypto top, do you? What's the final ROI? That's why I'm here on Postulating. You know, Bitcoin, 85K, 90K. I don't really care, but you get the point now. So... Are you compensated? Okay. Because don't think, oh, it's bad. Like the price. No, because friends, prices could be cheap. Okay. You can't, you don't, you don't think like that. Newbies think like that. That's how people get wrecked because they think, oh, it's so bad. No one's here. Yeah. You could be literally going to a music festival. There's 80,000 people about to go off their head and you are first in line. Okay. And but guess what? It's like 6 a.m. And it hasn't started yet. Everybody gets there midday. You see what I mean? Like you're literally waiting in a stadium. Now, if I took a screenshot of you and I recorded you, you're like, oh, wow, there's no one around you anywhere. Like this stadium's so boring. There's no music anywhere. Yeah, it hasn't started yet. Okay, you wouldn't be saying that it's the worst experience ever. No, they just got in early and there's 80,000 people ready to join. Now, imagine we just change that to crypto. With everybody left, are you just super early to the next wave? Okay, that's, that's our mentality of thinking. And... It's going to be really important because I can see it happening, okay? Because people start to get cocky. They're like, what bear market, right? But you, you know, friends, people who are saying what bear market, they're in the stuff that moved, Bitcoin, Ethereum, et cetera. And usually the, the Grim Reaper comes for people like this. So that's why I want to tell you, right? Okay, this is a very striking image, okay? It looks like some sort of naughty action happening, but it's actually just a cute little kitty cat, okay? So everyone's plan is to retire if Bitcoin hits 150K in the next bull market. But what's your plan if Bitcoin tops at 85K and crashes to 60,000? Ethereum would not be safe either. Now, why did I say 60,000? Complacency. Okay, complacency. I'm going to show you. Look, it's going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough. There's no free ride anywhere. The market forces you to take a bet. At some point, you're forced to either be on the boat or off the boat. Okay, and especially at these extreme moments, it gets even more critical. So this is why you never know, man. 
right? This could be Bitcoin 85, 90K, who knows, right? It comes back down to 60 or 70, and that's the complacency rally. Now, now these numbers, I just want to show you, these numbers are not just random numbers, okay? It's because if we go up, so here's 60K, friends, around 60K. You see, see let's actually look at these red, red, green and red candles. You see how Bitcoin is like topped around here? So what people will do is they go, well, there's something important about the market around this price of 60K. There's something important. There. There's a lot of people trapped, resistance. There's a lot of insider scum selling here, okay? So if we got up here, like, well, we don't know what's happening. We don't know what's happening. And then we actually rise up. This is where it's important. We rise up. You know when we get up there, friends? This is the funny part. I guarantee when we get up there, people are going to say, just like they are now, they're going to be saying, hey, now that we're at 80K, we got to retest 60 before we go back up. Now, don't get scared. I'm just telling you, if I go back to the Wall Street cheat sheet, okay? If I go back to the Wall Street cheat sheet, friends, and I show you what they actually say in complacency, you're going to flip out, okay? Look what they say. Complacency. We just need to cool off for the next rally. And it's a lower high, okay? This is why it's going to be tough, man. I really hope this doesn't happen, man. I really hope it doesn't happen. But you, you got to ask yourself, at what point do you say, okay, it's 80K, friends, 80K. That's, and then it goes back to 60 or 70. You go back here, and now we come back up. That's the, This is a critical point right here. You see that? That's actually super critical because at that point, either up or down. Okay, so... I just think, just like logically, okay, just this is how, you know, you've got to be a trader. See this point, friend? See this point? Okay, let's say this actually happens, right? And actually stops like, uh-oh, maybe Sammy's dark prophecy is real, okay? Now, see, I hope it doesn't happen, friends. I hope it just goes up to 100K. But if this part happens, you can say to yourself, you go, hey, wait a minute. You go, just ask yourself this question. I go, okay, you know, by the way, these numbers aren't 100%, but say, say what if I sold just... 35% here, and if market went up, I can buy back. So ask yourself that question, okay? You see this question? So <clears throat> now 35%, I'm not, not saying it's the right one, okay? Not financial advice, I don't know. It could be 65, it could be 100%, it could be 0%. Right? Actually, it's not 0%, never ever think that, okay? Having, at that point, having a 0% allocation to stable coins is the wrong one. I'm just telling you right now. Because you're effectively saying to me, there is a 100% chance we're going to go up and keep going up and we can't stop. Okay, that's a very, very dangerous mindset to have. So if we go back here, you ask yourself this question at this point, right? This critical point right here. You ask yourself, well, if I get out some and the doomsday poopy keeps continuing, I'm going to look like a genius, right? I'm going to feel pretty good, okay? But friends, what you got to also know is that there's a solution for you if it keeps going up. You see... See you here, friends. If you got out 35%, but then Bitcoin actually went up to 100K, you know, up here, there will be a lot of alt seasons. There will be a lot of meme coins, junk. Every chain is moving here. Every chain, Ethereum, Layer 2s, Pulse Chain, Doge Chain, everything is probably moving up here. There's big narratives, there's lots of things going on. And so, you know that money you took out here, friends, of your portfolio? You could play late stage DGEN stuff up here. You could, okay? So what I've done is I've given you, I'm not going to say a foolproof scenario, but it is a strategy to protect yourself against your emotions. Because why, friends? You know what's, what's FOMO? So the only reason why people don't want to exit up the top, why? FOMO. The first word of FOMO is friend. Now, it's actually fear, okay? Fear of missing out, which means, oh my God, if I get out, I have a big fear that it keeps going up. We all have that. But you have to have confidence in yourself knowing that you go, all right, we're not going to teleport to the target and then drop minus 100% in one candle. Not going to happen. What's most likely going to happen is it's going to take time to get to the top. And then at the top, no one's going to think it's the top. They'll probably be calling for 300K Bitcoin, which means, look, you're going to have, I want to say a long time, but probably not, but 
You're going to have weeks of the final mess. And in that period, you know that profit taking you took? You can go deploy it if you want. Okay. You can go deploy it. You can go, you know what? I took some profit. You shouldn't deploy all of it. But you go, well, I'm going to take like 10% of that and just throw it in these trash meme coins, see if I can flip them at the end and just play around with that. Most likely at the very, very, very end, there'll be just absolute garbage flying here in there somewhere. There'll be some opportunity somewhere, okay? But why don't people do it? Well, it's because no one thinks steps ahead, okay? Because the fee, friends, the fee, you know why? Because Bitcoin went up so much in its early days it literally, in like just 30 days, bang, like a 2x, 3x, it's done. And by the way, there were alts that moved in that final month, okay? So if you're new to crypto, just I'm going to zoom into the charts. I want to tell you something. We're not going to get this again, most likely, but it might happen. You see, this is Bitcoin in 2017. You see how 2018 is this red candle? See, this is not the truth, friends. This is not the truth. In this red candle, when you look at this chart, okay, there was that month, all altcoins had their final flush up. Ethereum went from 900 to 1400 in that point. A Verge, I think, did a 1000x. Uh, XRP, actually, no, XRP. Other, many other coins, friends, started moving. They had their final pump, okay, one month after the Bitcoin top. So, yes, it's very short lived. It's very, very, very short. But think about it. If you knew it, you can participate. So, that's why I'm telling you. At the very, very tops, you haven't missed anything really, okay? Because if, look, think about it like this, okay? If Bitcoin keeps moving slow steps, there's not that much meme coin euphoria, okay? And then let's say you get out an extreme point, 80K, okay? I want you to know that let's say your biggest fear comes true. You're like, oh my gosh, Bitcoin teleported to 150K, just two months later. Well, you know that teleport? That teleport is huge fuel for DGEN poop coins. Enormous fuel. If that happens, it won't happen, friends. But if it happens, okay. Okay, obviously, I hope I hope it happens. But it won't just be, okay, what we see now, like little meme coins and Doge. No, no, no. It is a market-wide shock, jaw-dropping shock. Right, probably insane euphoria, people buying anything and everything if that happens, okay? But unfortunately, the truth is that we're, we're basing our, our examples of things of the past when market participants were less, well, more loose with how they bought and there were less coins back then. Now there are an enormous amount, right? So yes, things are more mature now. They're more efficient. It's more blue chip boring compared to the past. So Think about that, okay? You, you, you got to think about that back in your mind, okay? We're not going to teleport like we did before. I hope we do. I hope we do. I hope we do. I know, friends. Do, do you remember? Look, please just remember this because no other influencer I listen to or that you listen to is going to be telling you what I'm, me, your friend, I'm telling you right now because they're too scared to say it. When Cointelegraph did the fake Bitcoin ETF launch, Bitcoin shot up 10% instantly. You saw that, Okay. They were like, whoa, Bitcoin could move 10% in a freaking hour, man. Imagine what it's going to do in the bull market. Do you see that? Don't listen to that. Because that's early bull market talk. And then that unfortunately transforms to euphoria talk. Okay. That's one of my secret, you know, X factor type of signals when I see out there. When people see events, if you watch my earlier videos, I always joke about it. People saying, Look what you did in a bear market. Imagine what it's going to do in a bull. They'll be saying, oh my gosh, Bitcoin in the bear market did 10% in an hour, right? It went from 30 to 33K or whatever it was, okay? They go, oh my God, that means at the top of the bull, it's going to have a $10,000 one hour candle, okay? It could just go from like 150K, then 160K, and then it will do like a final, a 3X in the final month. See that type of talk and speculation? That's the type of stuff those insider freaking scum like F2 pool, those Chinese miners dumping on everyone, okay? That's the type of language that these people want to hear because they know, go, oh, thank God, this guy's not thinking of selling with me. Sweet, I can start unloading for the next month because they're so euphoric, okay? It's a dirty game, friends. It's a dirty game. That's why I'm telling you, this is, this is the game, okay? It's dirty if you lose. If we're on the right side, though, 
It's a blessing, isn't it? Just like it's a blessing that we've got our friendship. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, all. Don't forget to tell mum and dad we are still going to make a friends. Don't stop believing. Catch you soon.